it's Rebecca, and I know you're not used to me being in my kitchen. Trust me, I'm not either, but I'm doing it because I'm gonna be doing a really cool video today. You guys know that I love candy. I love candy. And one of my favorites is rock candy. And I used to make it when I was younger in small amounts, and it was really fun, but today I thought it would be even cooler to make a DIY giant rock candy. Yes, this rock candy is going to be the size of me. Hopefully it works out and it doesn't fail because I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Make sure to subscribe and join the Zam Fam if you have not and turn on those notifications. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if it gets 25,000 thumbs up in 24 hours, I will make another giant candy. Let's make some rock candy. What we're gonna be using to make this giant rock candy is one large stick, over 100 pounds of sugar, lots of water, food coloring, and a 36 gallon garbage can. So I am prepping the rock candy stick by wetting all of it to this line, which I measured, which is kind of like to the tip of the garbage can, and I left a little space. Okay, so now that I have my wet stick, I'm going to pour the sugar on this wax paper and roll it. That's supposed to speed up the process of the sugar crystals attaching to the stick. We'll see if it works. Let's roll this sugar. So now I have my stick all prepped. I have the water and the sugar coated and I have to go let it dry for a little bit. And while it's drying, I'm gonna go make the water sugar solution on the stove. So to make the water sugar mixture, I'm gonna be boiling water and adding sugar to it. And I'm gonna be doubling the amount of sugar versus water. So for instance, if I have four cups of water, I'm gonna be doing eight cups of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. So I have three pans here, which is clearly not enough for the rock candy that we're gonna make because we're putting it in a big garbage can. So I'll probably have have to do multiple rounds. What can I say? I'm making rock candy. It's worth it. So all the water is filled. I have 20 cups of water in here, two cups in here, eight cups in here, and we're gonna double the amount of sugar in it, but we have to let it heat first. So my little baby pot is ready, so we're gonna do that one first just to make sure I'm doing it right. It says to do half a cup at a time. Just baking a life-size rock candy, no big deal. After you mix the sugar into the water, you add food coloring. We're gonna make a blue rock candy. Blue, 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 blue. Hot mess. Don't try this at home. Putting in the first one. Oh my gosh, that didn't even make a dent. All right, I'm using Matt's help for this one. It's gonna be a long night. So now we have a system going. Keep it organized. I guess making rock candy isn't a task for just one. Be really careful. I hope this fills it high because this is our biggest pan we have. Kind of filled up. That means we're making progress. Not even one fifth of the way full, but we're getting there. We doing it? This is number five million. Never had this much sugar in one place before. This is the last big pot that we are doing. Oh, I always pick things and then I'm like, wow, this is a lot of work, but it's worth it for the rock candy. Well, I do this last one. Matt is gonna jerry rig the lid for this. That's gonna hold our stick. The last one, yay! Okay, so we have water, we have diet, and we have 100 pounds of sugar. That is the most sugar I've seen at any point. And now we're gonna go get it set so that it can sit for five days and work its magic. So we have it all ready to go. This has been quite the process, but it's fun, and I hope it works. So I'm just going to put it in. Matt, just take this up, and now we just wait for five to seven days. If we don't get this right, it's gonna be really sad because we just spent three hours boiling water and putting sugar in it and mixing it. I just want it to work. <gasps> okay, you guys, so I waited two weeks because I wanted this giant rock candy to set and I wanted to make sure it had time to actually form. Sadly, after a couple weeks, it hasn't really formed. I keep hoping that it will, but this is the result. So I am lifting off the lid and I was like so excited because I saw crystals forming. And then this, it didn't work, no! Why do my DIYs always fail? This took us so long to do. This is literally just like blue goo. So you guys know, as this has been done before, if my DIYs fail, I have to dump it on my head. So I plan on dumping this big blue container of sugar and water that was supposed to be a rock candy onto my head. Then 
Yeah. So this is about 200 pounds of sugar water, so I have to use a scooper here. Guys, I'm worried about my hair turning blue, so we're just gonna put this shower cap on. Go and screenshot this. <gasps> it is so thick. Oh, I fail. <gasps> this is stickier than the lollipop. <gasps> Includes me attempting to make a DIY giant rock candy and having it fail and dumping it on my head instead. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more DIYs and I'll dump it on my head if it doesn't work, obviously. Comment below the funniest part of the video. I'll see you guys, I hit one million subscribers, which I am so excited about. Thank you so much. Make sure to join the Zam Fam if you haven't yet. And I have a big one million subscriber video coming out on Friday, so stay tuned and I promise it won't be a fail like this. Love you guys.